The day before going in for an oncology checkup, Harper reminded me that I need to keep calm and carry on, no matter what the results are. If you enjoy his daily dose of dopamine, now would be a great time to tip him for his service if you are able. My link tree has multiple options. It's very apropos that it was on the sleepless night before his visit that I finally came unstuck on the update on my own health that I've been promising ever since I posted a video with a voiceover about how I thought about killing myself every day. Part of the problem was I just felt like I somehow didn't have the right to write such a thing right after we finally got into a safe, stable place again after four years of housing insecurity. Even though half a dozen really heavy things happened right after the move, one after another in quick succession. Although I suppose it's kind of appropriate that if anyone was going to get spurted on, it was that one, right, Harpo? Plus, the nature of a couple of those things made it even easier than usual to convince myself that I was a terrible person who deserved it. And now that paralysis has lasted long enough that I genuinely have been a terrible person with regards to fulfilling my obligations to supporters. Two at once. I'm so impressed. For I've been feeling like this one stupid post is the one thing standing between me and absolutely everything else I need and want to do. Which is, of course, ridiculous, but I'm sure many of you have been there. Thanks, Arpa.